That's right, you read the title, I am now officially a war criminal. But there's a good reason, okay? A few months ago, I was invited to a Minecraft server creating a replica of Earth, and each player chooses a country to represent in geopolitical affairs. You want to declare war? Do it. Become an economic powerhouse? That works too. Or perhaps you just want to extort innocent players for your own personal gain, giving them long-lasting trauma. You can do that. As you can probably tell, I was more than eager to get started on my journey to world domination. But as I was choosing my country, something felt off. I'm noticing the pattern with all the admins in Africa. Why the heck would they want to be there? See, the one thing I can recall from middle school social studies is that the majority of Earth's diamonds originate there, which would make South Africa prime real estate. To confirm my hypothesis, my friend Apple and I have found the exact Earth map the server uses, which conveniently contains a topographic map displaying the natural resources spread. And just for fun, we decided to compare that to the country claims of the admins. This is the diamond spread. <laughs> if we lower the opacity... <laughs> no. What's the gold? Bruh. This is so corrupt. Admins have an access to like, you know, 95% of the world's diamonds. A bit of a coincidence to say the least. And I I'm not talking sporadic diamond veins either. It's everywhere. There's so many diamonds, oh my god! And look at all the gold as well. There's netherite too? No way. <laughs> What? This may be ironic timing, but they've also begun capping country claims in continents like Europe, America, and Africa. Now, America and Europe make sense. Each is like 20 people, but Africa doesn't even have half those numbers. After I pointed that out in the Discord, all I got was a measly warning by the admins, as well as this lousy response. Bestie, the map is in Minecraft. It doesn't actually translate to the world. You know what? You're right. It's larger. After that, the discussion pretty much devolved into a heated geography debate. I actually got a warning by the admin for, you know, making unnecessary drama, concluding that I couldn't do anything about it. And that was probably their greatest mistake, challenging a guy who doesn't touch grass. In that moment, I knew exactly what needed to be done. Rob Africa. From the topography maps, I know exactly where to mine. But the thing is, how do I get there on notice? At the launch of the server, everyone uses the same NPC to teleport to their continent. Previously, I'd chosen Switzerland, so if I TP to Africa alongside the admins, they're gonna be on to me. However, there's still one more option. South America. Turns out the fastest way to South Africa isn't even from its own continent. Who would have thought? Prior to the server launch, I compared the time it takes to run down from North Africa to the time it takes by sailing from Brazil. Apparently, it's a lot faster. <gasps> we found it! I, uh, I've somehow managed to get here without anybody in sight. How's that even possible? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, I see something. Guys, guess what I got? Uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm at 11. Oh, yep, right now. it's here, boys. Yep. Oh my god! I, I just want you to know, I got a 13 banner. What? Seriously? Oh. Yeah. My. Uh, guys, we're in business, oh, baby! Dude. <laughs> the rest of the night, we hauled out as much of South Africa as we could, then setting up a tax haven in the Cayman Islands to store riches and avoid the admins. Or so we thought. See, unfortunately, there was one thing we hadn't accounted for. Admin powers. So, uh, I just woke up to a pretty ominous message from the owner. <laughs> what is under Africa? Uh, looks like a furnace and e-table to me. We checked and placed it. It was you and a few others. We all thought it was Switzerland. How did you get South Africa mixed up with Switzerland? Yeah, you know what? They, they were not falling for it. And big man who owns South Africa is pretty annoyed that a bunch of his diamonds were missing. Hold on a moment. How does he know diamonds are missing? They could only know about that if they knew about the rigged resource veins. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. They just out of themselves. They said we can keep the diamonds. <laughs> they gave up. Oh my god, they just made a new rule in the Discord. You can no longer mine under other people's countries or you'll be killed on site. That's hilarious. Although this is definitely a big L for the admins, my purpose isn't over. For as long as the admins reign supreme, I vow to oppose them. And I already know what to do next. In the newly amended rule, they say other countries are off limits, but they fail to mention a whole other dimension, the end. Currently, there's an end event planned to happen in a week's time, but what the owner doesn't realize is that on top of the realistic natural resource spread, this earth map also contains end portals at locations of real space stations. And what if I told you? We can open them early. Using the factions plugin, we're able to preemptively claim the entirety of the end before anybody else has access to it. And just to ensure our domain, we decided to build an obsidian cage around the spawn platform so when everybody enters legally, we should be allowed to kill them. Either they yield to us, or they get punched into the depths of the void. And it's a flawless plan. Finally, we can show the admins that they no longer have power over us instead
said we are the ones in control. Oh. All right, everyone. Okay. Who's been here? Listen up very what? carefully. Everyone's coming in hand right now. Behind you is the void. I will punch you all in Why would you put me in? Why would you put me Rigged. 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 You can't just trap people. Rigged. I said. Warping everybody out of our trap for a fair, reasonable end fight. Unacceptable? Kill the admins. Kill them. Oh my god. Dude, Video that was game. way too fast. And if you thought that was fast, I kid you not, out of nowhere, my comrade pulled out a freaking machine gun and ripped the dragon to shreds in two seconds. You know what? At this point, I'm just gonna stop questioning things on the server. It's just better for the sake of my sanity. After that one minute long battle, the end is finally ours. <laughs> did, did we win? Yeah. Did we win? Oh. This is a win. Well, I think this is a win. Hold on, did I even get a kill? <laughs> Quick, kill Terry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I needed a kill. It was justified. Okay, that probably wasn't necessary, but come on, it, it was pretty funny. Additionally, with us, the only ones able to break blocks in our territory claims due to the factions plugin, the dragon egg too fell into our hands. I mean, it goes without saying, but the admins were pissed. In response, the owner has put together court case in conjunction with the League of Nations to sue us for committing multiple war crimes against the entirety of the world. Hmm, okay. Um, looking at the rules. We have definitely broken several of these. Oh my god, we may actually be war criminals after all. You see, there, there's one thing the admins haven't accounted for. I am Switzerland. For those of you who don't know, there's a little place in Switzerland called Geneva. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping at least one person watching knows where I'm going with this. Anyways, in war and diplomacy, every country must follow a set of rules called the Geneva Convention. It's practically what makes war crimes, well, crimes. So why don't we just change the Geneva Convention? Uh, thank you all for coming to the semi-United Nations. I brought with me today laws that I would like to present for you guys. I'm calling this the Alternative Geneva Convention. I'm just going to read through the laws real quick, and then I want to put it to a vote. For the most part, I made the amendment somewhat appealing to the average player, adding some quality of life changes like being able to use unclaimed land and such. However, alongside the bait laws to get votes, I may or may not have embedded some slightly questionable things such as... Seven. All war crimes are now allowed. Anyways. What? What? What do you mean? Which, I mean, I was expecting to get some heat for, but I mean, I, I can't blame him. Technically, these rules are, after all, simply constructed to immunize our crimes. Nevertheless, in my experience, people are always swayed by the right form of persuasion. By the way, if you vote no, we're gonna destroy you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, Didn't need much more convincing than that. In fear of opposing us, the majority of people decided to vote in favor of the new rules. All except for two. So the only people okay, that are actually can... against this no, are I... the staff in the back. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm not with them. I'm just sitting there. <laughs> so then it's the head admins. Because you're peer pressuring them into accepting it. You're being yeah. incredibly threatened. No. That's, that's this is democracy. They, no, we're not not I, I've completely said takeover. that people can vote if they want. You're also pressuring them if they don't vote yes, that you're going to view them as enemies and potentially... Uh, Josh, Josh, you know. it's called politics. It's just how it works. But with the majority in favor, the alternative Geneva Convention was put into law. So legally, we're no longer war criminals. If only it was that simple. Unfortunately, the admins didn't see it that way. They still had a grudge against us, and the, the fact we turned most of the server against them only fueled their anger even more. So instead of calling off the trial, they changed it from being a trial by jury to being a trial by two judges, both of whom are allied to the owner and hates us. Which kind of negates the whole point to a right and fair justified trial, but it, it, I guess it is what it is when you live in a world of corruption. For hours, we fought back and forth, providing as much support to our innocence as we could. Well, your honor, this man, this lunatic over here is just mad because he's bad. And as you can tell, our defense is pretty much foolproof. There is no flaws whatsoever. We have this in the bag. This goes in the favor of the prosecutor. Yeah, uh, baby! Dang, never mind then. I'm gonna be real. I did have a solid for hope in the legal system on this server, but I, I guess not. Like, I know this is an Earth server after all, but I didn't think it was gonna be that realistic. Alas, he redeemed guilty. And so the Ammons had won. Or so they thought. Let's be honest, we knew this hearing was rigged from the start. It was blatantly obvious. So we decided to rig it back. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, Your honor! <laughs> Let's get out. Get out, get out, get out. You get killed out. the oh, judge! Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> and that, kids, is how I declared war on the entirety of Africa. Now when I think about it, we may actually be the bad guys after all. But they started it, okay? They claim Africa, I rob them. They make it illegal, so I steal the moon. They sue us, we blow them up, but no more. No one, the admins, they're just gonna, you know, make wars illegal or ask for peace tomorrow. Hey, I know you're sleeping, but when you wake up, Cool Squid is trying to kill me and break into your base. God dang it, in my blissful night of retirement, the admins convincing not only the rest of Africa, but half the world to join them in a conquest against us. Now, I'll be real, that was kind of an underside on my behalf, not expecting the admins to use, like, actual military tactics. But if that's how they want to do it, two can play that game. Now, first thing we gotta do is send a message to the African Alliance that we are not to be trifled with. So we rolled up to London Square, home of this cool squid guy, aka ally to the admins, and tried breaking into our base the other day, and killed him a hundred times. Was it petty? Yeah. Psychotic? Oh, a hundred percent. But we ain't stopping there. We still gotta deal with the admins. Now, what they're probably anticipating is a cohesive strike against the very heart of their faction, Mozambique. But War in the End is a game of wits after all. We aren't looking for a direct battle. No, we're striving for absolution. Under the silence of night, my allies and I pull a covert operation, excavating as much of Africa as we could. You see, for the entirety of the server, we've been hearing about a secret vault belonging to the admin. Before attacking them straight on, we're first gonna weaken them by sabotaging their supply lines. So our mission? Find that vault. And before long, as in spending half the night searching, we finally found something. Yo, wait, 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 wait. Bofa, that is their faction claim. It's gotta be here somewhere. Up here. Oh. Don't mind me just strolling in. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. We grab it, take it all. I'm stealing a single axolotl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good, that will show up. I got the goods, Redoon. Look at this. Good, good job, Frizz. I'm very proud. As predicted, my tactics had worked. After sacking their coffers as well as neutralizing their comrades, the African Alliance became beyond demoralized. And to some extent, I, I can't help but to sympathize. This hostility has gone on for too long, causing attrition to both sides. Everyone agreed that the constant aggression wasn't worth it anymore, so we decided to parlay one final battle to put an end to this conflict once and for all. Each side laid out their terms. If we won, the African Alliance must dissolve, and the admins need to finally step down from power. But if we lose... You have to unclaim all your countries, and you have to join the Bofa Alliance. Nah. Just like that, the wager was set. Following the meeting, we took off for Africa to phase the admins one last time. This was it. Either we accomplish everything we worked months for, or it'll be lost within moments. Wait, well, why is there an admin there? See, this is the abuse we're talking about. This is the reason why we're having this war. Start bombing. Eagle Start three. bombing. Eagle three is Start about bombing, baby! Eagle three is about... Did you, did you drop? Did you drop down? Three, two, one. Uh, Perfect. Eagle three, ETA, three minutes. Eagle three. Yo, wait, who's on this roof right here? On the pink roof. Harvey, I'll try to go back to the league. He's moving too fast, man. What? The shotgun. They have guns oh, as well. Yeah. Harvey, is there a chest spawn? Uh-oh, arrows are going up. Arrows are going How up. How many? Is it just one wither or multiple? There are multiple. Make sure to oh, keep an eye on your field. Help, 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 help. Ooh, is Mondays on their team? Oh, oh fuck. Pop, pop. I think I'm fighting Evan. It's unclear. They're in this. Oh, they have witness. Oh, no. Got you, my boy. Oh, got him. I got Mondays. Maybe if I... I love <laughs> Got him, Cobb. Where is he? Where is he? He's he over by the side of the city. Stop Wait, what? Bro, where'd my sword go? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I almost dropped my sword. Oh, my goodness. Just die already. Die. We're going above. Oh, is it? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> We have to kill Evan. I yeah. think there's no one else. Not bad, no, I have the guns. I'm trying to freaking combo them. He may be out of pearls. There's Come a chance. Here, where, 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 where? Uh, airport, airport, airport. There we go. It's, 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 yes! Wait, they did? Yes! Yes! I think we won! Yes! 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 <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> yes! 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 <laughs> The second before, <laughs> the second before Story Painter calls a ceasefire. <laughs> With us trampling the African Alliance, a ceasefire was called and peace was brokered. As demanded, our terms were met. The once proud African Alliance was shattered, and finally, the amnesty ranked. We did it. We toppled the world order, liberating the people of the Commonwealth to do as they please. Which, looking back, I'm not sure if that was really a good thing. Next thing we knew, some tyrannical hacker took over and ruined everything. But that's not my problem. I'm out of here.